Bye -bye. One more or the other bag. by thanking everyone for being here today and sharing with Travis and Alicia's love. Uh, I've had the pleasure of knowing Travis for 15 years and Alicia for five and seeing their love, their love grow together. Love is the reason we're all here today. In marriage, I not only say I love you today, but also I promise to love you for all of our tomorrows. Travis and Alicia, in the days ahead of you, there will be stormy times and good times, times of conflict and times of joy. I ask you to remember this advice. Never go to bed angry. Let your love be stronger than your anger. Learn the wisdom of compromise, for it is better to dance than it is to break. Believe the best of your beloved. Confide in your partner. Forsaking all others 
you be faithful only to him as long as you are so
just because I don't watch it. I've known Travis Crowley longer than I can remember. From infants at daycare to childhood friends at, in elementary. It wasn't until high school that I could really call him my best friend. Or he could call me me for anything, and I could call him for anything. Where we know each other would be there. There's one night in particular I can remember. <laughs> Or, uh -oh. <laughs> we not only locked the keys in his Beretta, not once, but twice. Beretta. At least yeah, yeah. <laughs> David managed to unlock the, the, the Beretta the first time. The second time we were at a store in Gunner, and we were wondering if we could call the cops to unlock the car. <laughs> That's not a good idea in our situation. <laughs> so we busted out what ended up being the most expensive window in his car. It's <laughs> a quarter panel. Keep in mind, keep in mind this is December and it's raining. <laughs> Him and Jason Jones spent the night in the back seat of that car. I, I somehow got managed to uh, be designated DD, which wasn't a good idea. I, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I drive, drove us to my house and parked which if any of y'all know me and Travis, we live on each side of the school. He lives one block in front of the school. I live one block behind the school. But I get a phone call about 7.30 or 8 o'clock that morning saying that he was lost and he didn't know how he, he was supposed to get home. <laughs> Looking back on it. Hey, was that your house? Yes. Look at Mary. Mary in my driveway. Thank you, Mary. Mary knows exactly where I live. <laughs> Uh, looking back on it, you know, we were all lost back then, but now seeing him with his beautiful wife, I know he's found his path. You know, he's got a great job, a good home, and a beautiful woman to love him. And I couldn't be more proud for any man in this world. You are the beautiful. Like that. <laughs> he texted me, said, "No, don't bring up any stories. No, don't do that." Call me out, man. Don't call me out. I, I do love it, man. I do. You bitch. <laughs> good job, brother. That was good, man. That was good. I actually left some stuff out. Yeah, you <laughs>